This is Mike Bone Junkie. I'm bringing you another video here. We are going to be doing a review on the Spigen Airfit 360 case. I actually did not hear about this case until somebody recommended it to me. And I went ahead and looked at it and decided to go ahead and pick it up and do a review for you all. The whole point of this case is that it provides 360 degree protection around the entire device. And it's one of the smallest cases available to you. Now there are a lot of snap cases out there that go around the sides uh, but do not really cover the front. This device covers everything, 360 degree protection. As you all know, Spigen is definitely a very good case maker. I'm a big fan of their cases that they make. This one particularly includes a glass screen protector that is cut perfectly to fit right in here. From what I've read, I do not have a glass screen protector on my device yet, but as I read that the iPhone ones that do have one installed uh, some people are reporting a gap under here. So what Spigen did was they included their own. Since many people out there are going to the glass screen protectors, uh, they decided to go ahead and include this in here. They included two of them for you. All right, so let's go ahead and show how the case will go on. Right now, the way the phone looks, as you can see, um, earlier I did have a little dust collected up here at the edges which is normal but this has been on my phone for about a week now as you can see it has some little fingerprint smudges things like that but before I take it off I want you to see how it looks like after being on a phone after a week I know a lot of cases look very good uh, you know once they're put on so I'd, I wanted you guys to get the full impression here and know what it will really look like after a week a week's use Almost like buying a car, you know, a new car. It looks all nice, and after a week, you know, it's just like, uh. But, alright. Let's go ahead and take this thing off. Alright, so we did get the phone out of there. The case is off. And the way the phone is set up, and in order for it to stay thin, you have to install this case a certain way. You can't just pop it on. So this is the back here. And it tells you, apply metal plate for the magnetic air vent mount. So this also works for the QNMP mounts that they make. This case also works with the magnetic uh, car mount that they use. And I will also be ordering one of those because I didn't know about that either. And I would feel that that would be something I would be able to use. So to install it, it's very simple. You actually, and I'm trying to do this through my camera, so if it seems a little off, that's why I have a camera in front of my face. So, you want to put the bottom in here first, okay? And then you kind of snap on the top. And then you take the back, and the back just almost slides down into there and then snaps on from there. Very easy. Now, in taking it off, you do have to use a little bit of your nail uh, and pop the back off. Uh, but it's very easy. <clears throat> All right. Now, I do not have the glass. I, do I have not installed the glass yet. So, we will go ahead and do that. And before I hear the comments below where people are going to ask, why did you uh, plan on reviewing a phone? or excuse me, a case when you really didn't install all the parts. And the only reason why I waited to install this is because I wanted to be able to get a video clip of me doing it, uh, which I should have done in the beginning, but I didn't. Um, I actually have a new camera set up now. We just moved all this, so I wanted to be able to get it uh, with a better camera for you. But anyhow, let's quit with all the negativity and let's get back to this alright so the glass is a perfectly cut piece they say it's actually very pointy and a little sharp here so 
let's go ahead and install this with the camera in front of us. Alright, so the way I do my installations here, I wipe down the screen completely. Alright, and then I buff out any imperfections I may see in here. I know everybody's not going to agree with me on this process, and they're going to say something. This, again, is just the way I do it. And then the part I was wiping, I see, I leave that side up. All right, and then I use either tape, but I forgot to grab that, but luckily they included some dust stickers. And then I go around and get any dust pieces that I see. Alright, at this point when I think I'm completely clean, everything's ready to go, I actually will take a flashlight or another phone camera, turn on the flash, and look at it sideways from the side. See if I notice anything. I'm going to do that real quick. Unfortunately, I have to do this off camera. And you know what? I made my first error. You actually die. Think about it. We should be having this installed while we install the screen protector if I would have read the directions I would have known that alright I believe we are good to go right now so what I would normally do is take two more pieces of tape again or if you have these and stick one here and one on the opposite side and that way I can line up line up the screen protector while hovering over it but since this one's a little bit different I don't think we'll need that so we took it off and all you have to do is just drop it in there and squeeze out any air bubbles usually you go from the middle center you know out and as you can see they're going away alright it's on there and it's actually looking pretty good Sometimes it takes these screen protectors, you know, a few hours overnight to get every little air bubble out. But the glass screen protectors actually are pretty good. So, if you notice any lint, or anything under yours, they give you a second one to try again. Now on mine, I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up. Actually, you can kind of see it right up in the top left corner by the airplane. See that gap? So I guess it doesn't line up 100% with it. So I'm okay with that. Uh, it used to bother me years ago. Little imperfections like that. And actually, I don't know if you can see it right now, but I have a little lint. Actually, I don't think the camera's going to pick it up. But there's a small lint right there. And unfortunately, it we weren't we missed one. And probably because I put the front of the case on and rushed through it. 
instead of taking my time and redoing it properly. Anyhow, that's where the using at the side and using your light, your flashlight to look at it will definitely help you. But anyhow, let's move on. All right. So actually, I didn't even notice this before, but they actually do give you a spot to be able to put your fingernail in to be able to get the case off. So you actually looks like yep, you and you pop the back off. That's how you would take it off. Uh, but anyhow, this is what it looks like with the glass screen protector on it. I actually really like this. It it is a small fingerprint magnet. Unfortunately, or fortunately, it's not that bad. You can kind of just wipe it away with your uh, T-shirt or something of a sort. It does have a very perfect camera cutout. So as you can see, it's barely anything that protrudes up. So it's not too bad. The flash cutout right there. Alright guys, my final thoughts on this is I definitely really like this case. I like the way it looks. It is a not a slippery foam, but it's not something that provides much grip, especially since how thin it is. But it is something that's going to protect your phone. If you're somebody who loves the thinness of the iPhone 7 Plus, as well as you want to preserve it being thin but give yourself some type of protection, this is definitely going to be for somebody who never drops their phone or rarely drops it they're very careful with their phone this is definitely a case for you if you're somebody who's just doesn't you know really care about their phone or you know always dropping your phone in a job where it may be damaged uh, you might want to look at something else like an OtterBox or even a let's just say something more along the lines of a spec case and this is spec and everybody knows this and I actually want to compare how thin this case is compared to it because I know, and this is a case that you would get at Walmart, the spec case. So everybody is aware of it. Let's go ahead and see how thin it is compared to it. So you can kind of see there. It's hard to keep it straight for me anyway with the camera in front of my face. But you can see the thinness there. So it's definitely a thinner. Here they are side by side. It's a thinner case. It's smaller, as you can see here. All right. And it's something that's definitely going to protect your phone for minor scrapes, drops, things like that. The home button works perfect. For offering 360 degree protection, I actually like the home button. You actually really don't have to push. Uh, some cases you have to put your finger way in there. This you don't. You can still just do it normally. One thing also I want to point out is on the camera presses. Or excuse me, not the camera presses, but the button presses are very, very good. Some cases you have to press a little hard. Even that spec case, you have to press these ones down pretty hard. This one you do not. Uh, it, I mean, it works almost, you know, just like uh, without a case would. So that's something I definitely want to point out. The volume rocker switch, you can get to it very easily just with the slide of your thumb. Make sure you like this video. It really helps me out, and I really do appreciate that, guys. All this wouldn't be happening without you guys. Um, I can't say thank you enough. I really appreciate the support, and you all have a good day. Be safe out there.